So Mac gaming is very, very slowly, but surely starting to pick up a little bit with games like Death Stranding, Resident Evil, and now Cyberpunk. Um, yeah, I, I had to give it a go. I've got the base M4 MacBook Pro, 24 gigabytes RAM. Let's take a look and see how it does on here. So I jumped straight into the benchmarks and I started off by going into a setting that was on here, which said um, for this Mac, where the system will obviously say what it thinks are the best settings. It stuck at a consistent 30 FPS and just looking at it the way that it was, it actually looked really good. Other than one of the settings was a uh, crowd density low. I love the style of the city. I love the look of the city. So having it a bit more populated would be really nice. But again, can't really complain considering the last laptop I tried to run this game on ran awful. So um, being able to run this on a 10 core CPU, 10 core GPU, M4 MacBook Pro was insane to me. And it stayed at a consistent 30 frames per second. And if we skip to the end of the benchmark test, we got 30 frames per second with a minimum of 29 and a maximum of 30. So that was promising with texture quality at medium, but ray tracing obviously wasn't enabled. So then I thought, let me work my way up. So if we start at the low setting, if we scrub through this, we can see we're in the 40s and 50s. And by the time we got to the end of it, we averaged 50 frames per second. But I wouldn't usually want to play a game like this, which so heavily relies on the world and the atmosphere and the graphics to bring that to life. I wouldn't want to play that on low settings. Ideally, I would like to play it on ray tracing overdrive. So I know, I know, but let's just see what it's like. Let's just have a little laugh at this. And we're averaging seven to eight frames per second in the bar scene. When we go outside, we're averaging around nine. This isn't looking great. Uh, we're down to seven and we ended up with an average of seven frames per second. So let's go straight off of that. Um, let's take a look and see if ray tracing on low is even doable or if ray tracing is something we're going to have to turn off completely. So on ray tracing low, it seems to be hovering around the 20s and early 30s when we get to the outside section and if we scrub through to the results oh 29 um, if you really did want to play with ray tracing on you are looking at around 26 frames per second doable but still not ideal let's try ultra settings as a quick preset uh, this is obviously with ray tracing turned off and if we take a look we've got 28 hit 30 frames per second on the indoor bar scene this may be promising if you're eager for that 30 frames per second i mean i'm blown away that it can actually even do this given how demanding this game is i'm actually blown away that it's possibly playable in ultra settings on a macbook pro um with only 10 core cpu 10 core gpu when we go outside we're in the mid 30s and if we scrub to the end of this benchmark, we see that we average 29.5. So you're you're very, very close to that 30 frames per second at ultra settings with texture quality set to high. Um, you will see the resolutions at 1800 by 1125. If I set the resolution to the top resolution of my MacBook Pro, it's pointless. Um, we drop back down into around 10, 15 frames per second, even on medium settings. Um, so let's change this to high and let's give it another go. Now on high, we're over 30 frames per second. And to save you the suspense, this is what I'm going to be playing the game at. It's 30 to 35 frames per second on high settings on literally the lowest spec MacBook Pro, with the exception of the 16 gigabyte to 24 gigabyte um, RAM bump. It's, otherwise it's the lowest spec MacBook Pro. We're in the mid forties when we get to the outside part of the benchmark. And let's save you the suspense. Let's go to the results here. 35 frames per second that is insane when i saw this i could not believe my eyes i really thought this game was not going to be playable and i'd be going straight to steam and asking for a refund um so the only thing left to do was to give it a go in real world settings and get the game going now going outside into the real world it actually seemed very very promising um even in heavily populated areas i was in the 30 to mid 30 frames per second 
I was super, super excited. I'll finally be able to get to play this game on a <laughs> Mac Pro M1. I thought I'd need to wait until the next generation of MacBooks when I upgrade to a more powerful device. Um, but then something happened that was a little bit disappointing. As you can see right here, this is what happens once you jump into a car. The draw distance is not perfect. There are a lot of pop-ups, but they're not really distracting um, all that much. And the frame rate stays around 30 to 40. However, up to this stage, it's not overly distracting. I can ignore that. But when you take a look over here, for example, if you look at the shadows, they are literally popping in pretty much above the car. And this is once I've set the preset even down to low. I mean, if you look at this, it's just popping in all the time. And there's been a couple of times where enemies pop in just like that. So you're very close to them when they pop in, which makes it very difficult to plan strategically when in a car. When you're on foot, it's much, much better um, for obvious reasons. But just to give you expectations, if you're in the car, you're not going to have the best of experience uh, driving around just because of the pop-ups. And this is even when I set the resolution to the lowest for my MacBook Pro screen and set the preset to low as well. It still just has a lot of pop-ups, which is a shame. It's a shame. But hopefully with a patch, if they can make that part better, given how well it plays when you're on foot, uh, I mean, it's made me hopeful that I can't wait to see what they do next. I can't wait to see what the update, what the update patches bring for this. And I can't wait to see what other games they can port over to the Mac. Um, I was a little bit disappointed with how poorly the Assassin's Creed game ran. But then again, you know, this game is very, very demanding and it's doing such a good job. So um, the future may be brighter than I had anticipated. Let me know if you've played this game and what kind of frame rates you were getting and what your settings were. Yeah, and what your thoughts are in general on the MacBook Pro being a viable gaming machine, maybe, in the future. Thanks for watching. If you found this in any way helpful, a like or a subscribe would be much appreciated.